Lencho Bhatti, thank you for joining me on Upfront. Your Prime Minister, Abe Ahmed, won the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize at the end of a year in which he locked up journalists, detained protesters and cut off the internet. Is that really how Nobel Peace Prize winners are supposed to behave? I don't know where you get these facts. He, there is no any journalist in prison now. He didn't uh, arrest five journalists in September 2019. Amnesty International said the police failed to produce any shred of evidence for their alleged crimes. No, that's an exaggerated thing. What now, does that there, mean, exaggerated? There is no single... Exaggerated means what? There was one I mean, journalist, there, not there, five? There, there, there is one incident in where fake news uh, has been uh, 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 put in a market mm. to incite violence. Uh, against uh, ethnic groups. So why is Amnesty's director for East and Southern Africa saying the return of mass arrests of opposition activists and supporters is a worrying signal in Ethiopia? These sweeping arrests risk undermining the rights to freedom of expression and association ahead of this year's election. No, this is not happening in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a free... So Everybody is free get, now to... So you're to saying Amnesty's their... making this stuff up? Well, I'm, te I'm telling you, all the journalists are out of prison. All political prisoners are be out of prison, but you're admitting they were in no, prison at one stage. These, these are prisoners detained okay. by previous regime. All oppositions, armed and peaceful, are invited back. So the political space is wide, and everybody is in the country registering, uh, campaigning in different parts of I'm the country. I'm not questioning that people aren't campaigning or registering. I'm just saying that Human Rights Watch, for example, has said dozens of ethnic Amhara journalists were held uh, in 2019 in their report on the country. I mean, you were on this show in 2016 as someone living in exile, criticizing the previous government for being repressive, authoritarian, locking up protesters and journalists. And now you're being criticized. Your government is being criticized for doing the same thing. Do you no. see the irony? Yeah, this government is not doing... I'm not aware of this arrest, and this government is not arresting journalists. How about internet blackouts? There is no any time internet was blocked. I mean, who should people believe? Well-known, well, well well-respected well human rights yeah, groups? Or? We, we need to do further investigation. But I, I think you I do. Mean, I first think of all, the internet, to check out the the internet in the on. country is very, very, very... The service is very low. The okay. coverage is very low. And, uh, but I have not come across any any incident where internet so you haven't come across blocked. detained protesters, you haven't come across detained journalists, you haven't come across internet blackouts? No. That's very convenient, given it's well documented I, I by have, human rights observers. I, I have not. I'm a human rights advocate. I have not. OK. I have not seen any. Your prime minister won a peace prize for ending this decades-long conflict with neighbouring Eritrea, and he's been applauded for that by many around the world and at home. But even in Ethiopia, the conflicts continue, ethnic conflicts. The violence has, in fact, escalated in many places. Ethiopia has one of the largest internally displaced populations in the world. 1.6 million people internally displaced, fleeing violence. That's a pretty massive failure on your government's part, is it not? Well, the displacement has uh, the, uh, its own cause. Uh, as you know, Ethiopia is going through reform. That means the regime or the group that is overthrown we're uh, uh, sponsoring conflicts in different parts of the country. So this is a politically motivated uh, uh, displacement in order to uh, 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 sabotage the transition and the reform that the prime minister Hold put on, you're in saying place. three-quarters so, of a million people were displaced no, there, there in the first a, half of 2019. Yeah, there That's a, all just a political move to embarrass uh, the uh, government. Of nearly course, a million people. Yeah, these people, Ethiopian people, used to live together peacefully. This is a politically masterminded uh, agitated from behind in order to sabotage the reform. Isn't the danger... Once that, that structural problem is removed, now people are back to their residence. And today now, the, the, the Ethiopian ethnic groups in every part of the country are living together in a very harmonious way. I, I interview a lot of people on this show from different countries, different political parties. You've been on this show twice, and it's interesting interviewing you because you came on this show in, in a debate with the then member of the Ethiopian government. You were in exile at the time, living in the US. Yes. And if you'd said all this stuff then, and he, your opponent then in the government, had said, well, this is all just you trying to make us look bad. Yeah. Do you understand? Your arguments can be used either way. I do understand. You, you could sound like the previous government. I do understand. The record of the prime minister is clear. The, 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 our, our the numbers are clear. Our prime minister... Displaced people is going our up. Our prime minister rehabilitated peace with Eritrea. He mediated peace in between South and Sudan. He has an But he can't stop people from being displaced yeah. in his own he country. He has an excellent relationship but with Somalia and Kenya. But he can't stop people from being displaced in his own country. Yeah, but, Hundreds of thousands of them. But the hands, the hands 
who is masterminding all this violence is aimed who, at... Who is this? this you sound like a conspiracy is overthrown, the overthrown elites. Okay. Okay, the people who are enjoying privilege for the last 27 years, they might... They want to make so, sure this process is sabotaged. I mean, do you have any evidence for that? So the Prime that? Minister is very patient. I mean, do you have any evidence for, for that? For example... What's your evidence for that? There is, there is What's a clear, the evidence? There is a clear evidence. What is it? There is a clear evidence. We can't just say, this, you can't say being, there is a clear evidence is, three times. What weapon, is the evidence? Weapon is being smuggled to okay. these groups. You found these weapons. Yes. You've produced these for the world. Of, of course. There is a lot of weapons that was, Where from? That was captured. They come through, through the borders, and money has been distributed. In order this to is all very vague, uh, Lencho Bhatti. And an attempt on the life of the Prime Minister also uh, was tried in Addis. So these people are leaving no stone un 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 unturned in order so to, 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 to prevent Ethiopia to transit into democracy. Your party came to power in 2018, and now your Prime Minister, Abe Ahmed, is transforming Ethiopia's ethnic federal political system. Some would say without any real electoral mandate, he's dissolved the ruling coalition, he's set up this whole new party, the Prosperity Party, to which your own defence minister has come out and criticised and said there are many dangers to doing these big dramatic changes in a hurry right now. So why do it? Why all this upheaval? It was a natural process to, 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 come, to, to come up with a party that is unified under one major shared goal. So uh, it's a party decision, it's a member's decision, the central committee decision, let me finish, executive committee decision. So it, it has been done through the party rules and regulation. So why did your defence minister say merging this party is not timely and there are many dangers? We are in a transition. This is borrowed time. It is not our time. We should focus on maintaining peace and stability. Why are you not focusing on peace and stability? Why are you doing these dangerous things, according peace, to your own defence minister? Peace and stability is... A burning issue. There is no question about that. Okay, the the prime minister liberalised the political space. All oppositions are invited in, including those who are in armed struggle, those who are in prison were released, and now the political space is free. So there's no danger him. to any of them. This is not a dangerous move. Well, the changes in Ethiopia are very sweeping. Okay, we have to either, okay, transit Ethiopia into democracy. Otherwise, there is no any other alternative. I understand, but we have a global okay. audience watching this yeah. show. Watching there, this there, show. There is no any other alternative. I understand. Yeah. Our viewers around the world are watching the show. They see you, senior advisor to the office of the prime minister, saying this is a good thing, and then they hear the defence minister of your government saying this is not a good thing. Who should they believe? Well, everybody is entitled to his opinion. Not really. He's yeah. in your government. You yeah. should really be singing from the same hymn sheet. Yeah, but what he said is, what he said is. He's not opposing the goal, he's not opposing the process, but he's saying maybe things are going so fast. OK, that is his opinion. The current Prime Minister, your boss, Abe Ahmed, has been in power for less than two years. He was not elected directly to office. And in November, with just months uh, before this upcoming general election in August, uh, he approved all these big changes, this dissolution of the r ruling coalition. Does he have a mandate to do any of this stuff? I it mean, nobody, a... nobody elected him to do any of this stuff. The party, it is a party. This is but it affects done. the Ethiopian constitution, the federal structure. No, he has not done no. it. Ethiopian federation is state. He is not tampering with the federation. He's a federalist. The multinational federation is a constitutional order. What is being transformed, what is being rebranded is a party. Not and he has a mandate for that, you he think? Has a ma yeah, the members have a mandate, and the members are doing okay. that through massive deliberation. Uh, deliberation has been taking place within the party for, for a year. Lencher Bati, thanks for joining me on Upfront. Thank you so much. Thank you.